everyone. How are you? I hope you're all okay, staying safe and keeping well. It's Thursday the 21st of January today and it's my assembly. And in my Thursday assemblies, we I'm going to be celebrating the learning that you've been doing at home and at school and also um, focusing on smile and finding out who our smile champions are at home and in school. Um, to make sure and that's really to make sure that you're looking after yourselves showing yourself some self-care and showing others some self-care during these challenging times i'd like to share with you an extract from this inspirational man from the story of this inspirational man as you can see is called 100 steps and it's a story about captain sir tom moore um, who captured the heart of the nation in our first lockdown back in march 2020 do you remember his mission was to walk 100 laps of his garden in time for his 100th birthday, raising money for the NHS um, and carers. So this is a story about his life. On a bright April morning, a 99-year-old man stood outside his house and held on to his walking frame. His name was Captain Tom Moore and he had pledged to walk 100 lengths of his garden in time for his 100th birthday to raise money for the doctors and nurses risking their lives to save others. Tom took a deep breath. He knew this wasn't going to be easy, but he told himself one of the many important things he'd learnt during his long life. The first step is always the hardest, but unless you take that first step, you'll never finish. You can see some of the illustration in the book there by Adam Larkham and a picture of Sir Tom with his walking frame. The book goes on to tell us about Sir Tom's journey through life and how his mum taught him that it didn't matter who you are, you can do and be anything you want. It's a really important message. It tells us about how he longed to own a motorbike like, like his uncle and how he did own a motorbike and go on to win many time trials on his motorbike, how he joined the army, how he met Dame Vera Lynn, how he met the love of his life, Pamela, who became his wife, how he grew his family and how his family taught him that at the end of the storm there is a golden sky. They helped him to get through some very difficult times in his life and that's why he knew he needed to do something to help others when this horrible disease hit the world. Um, and that's something that he did, led to the whole world watching him because one step has the power to inspire 100 more. I'll just share this with you and you can see there the whole world was watching him. He got knighted by the Queen. He completed his 100 steps with many, many supporters along the way. And he, he even had a number one hit with Michael Ball, You'll Never Walk Alone, and the NHS Choir. He achieved so many things. Such wonderful acts of kindness and care for himself and for others that link to smile, don't they? I'm just going to finish with this. During the coronavirus pandemic in 2020, Tom inspired the nation by walking 100 laps of his garden in time for his 100th birthday, raising nearly £40 million for charity, providing a voice of hope during a dark time. In recognition of his incredible work, he was awarded an honorary promotion to Colonel, a knighthood and a gold Blue Peter badge for all his acts of kindness and care. What an incredible man, extraordinary man and a wonderful story. From next week my Thursday assembly will be a celebration of your learning but I want, also want to hear your nominations um, for why you are being a smile champion whether you're at home or in school and I'm just going to remind you now what each aspect of smile is and some of the things you can be doing at home to practice smile and making sure that you have good mental health and well-being whilst you're at home or in school. And maybe you could speak to some of your other family members about SMILE so it can help them as well.
So SMILE is all about looking after your mental health and well-being. S stands for social, socialise, connecting with others, move, getting active, getting your adrenaline going. I is interest, taking notice of yourself, how you're feeling and how you can make yourself feel better. So self-care really. L is for learn, keeping on learning. And the E is for engage, giving to others, and being kind. So what could you do in each aspect of SMILE um, to let me know about why you should be the SMILE champion this week? What will your nomination relate to? Well, let's take a look at some of the things you can be doing at home or in school to earn that nomination so that you can be SMILE champion to show that you are looking after your mental health and well-being and thinking of others too. To focus on the socialised aspect of SMILE, to show you're connecting with others, you could take turns to actually ask each other some questions while you're at home, would you rather? You could share a short story or film with somebody in your family, write a letter, play a board game, make a treasure hunt around the house with clues, make a den, play I spy, learn some more Makaton signs, or bake together as a family. There's lots of things you can do together to talk and listen to each other. So think about those this week. You could focus on the M. Moving, getting active. How many keepy uppies can you do in a minute? Can you practice striking a superhero pose? Do three sets of 10 squats with a short rest in between. If you have a garden, play Tig inside or inside hide and seek. You could walk the dog if you have one. You could try yoga on Cosmic Kids or some dance move on, moves on Go Noodles. That's my favourite. Um, you could do the Joe Wicks PE session. There's lots you can do that is good for your mental health and well-being to get up and move around. And it's one of my favourite aspects of Smile. You could focus on the eye in smile, showing interest, taking notice of yourself and the things around you, really becoming mindful in what you are doing. And I know your teachers are setting you mindfulness exercises within your weekly timetable, but these are other things you can do in addition to that. So as it says there, some mindful eating, noticing, using your senses, about the sensations of that food and the movement of that food in your mouth. Stop and listening to what you can hear if you go out in the garden, what can you hear in nature, what can you hear in your home, really examine each sound. Feed the birds is another example, you could grow some flowers or vegetables from seeds, seeing the wonder of nature, um, you could blow some bubbles, blow those worries away if you have any. Try some mindful meditation to focus your attention um, and there's an example there of a clip you can use. Try some mindful breathing to calm you and de-stress and there's different breathing methods you can use and I might share a bit more about different breathing methods you can use in um, my assembly in the next few weeks. There's lots of things you could do, some mindful colouring, singing, listening to music, that's one of my favourite things but really listening, taking notice of what you can hear. You could focus on the Ellen smile, learn and keep learning. So trying something new, reading a new book, watching a new documentary on the television. The David Attenborough ones are fantastic. You could learn a new dance, I'd love to see them. You could learn how to cook something different. You could make something new out of Play-Doh or you could try a new craft. And again, it's not on there, but my favourite, learning a new song to sing. And again, I'd love to hear some of those if you do that. I 
finally the E in smile is to engage, to give to others. So you could think about a time when you have received or performed an act of kindness recently and discuss how it made you feel with somebody. You could say thank you, just smile at others. You could write an email to a past teacher or a colleague to say how much you appreciate them. You could leave a thank you note for someone who helps you. Send a postcard to an elderly neighbour give some food to a food bank or you could sort out your old clothes to give to a charity shop. There is so much you could do for acts of kindness that do give you that feel good factor. But again, if you are emailing, make sure you've got your parents' permission and they're supervising you when you do that. I am so excited as I know there is so much that you can be doing for your smile this week. So please make sure you email your teacher your fantastic learning that you've been doing and your nomination for why you should be Smile Champion next week. I'd, I'm going to share the emails with you now on the screen and I'd like you to email your work and your Smile Champion nomination for something that you've done at home that you feel should make you smile champion i'd like you to email those nominations and your learning to your teacher by monday and that would be monday every week because we're going to celebrate learning that you've done this week and celebrate something that you've done um that you feel makes you a smile champion in next week's assembly so it'll be something you've done this week we'll celebrate in next week's assembly okay the emails are on the screen now are a smile champion and you're at home I will send you a certificate in your home learning pack on Friday and if you're the smile champion at school you will get the um, smile champion award in your classroom so lots to look forward to there make sure you email your teachers by Monday please don't forget so one last thing for assembly this week remember that important message that captain sir tom moore shared with us you can do and be anything you want so take care stay safe be kind to yourself and others and i look forward to seeing you next week take care everyone bye bye